Hello and welcome to our how-to tutorials for V-Ray. In this tutorial, we show you how to create simple glass using the V-Ray material. We'll also look at how to make the glass tinted or frosted. We have this nice tea glass in plate model here in 3ds Max. So let's start by creating a V-Ray material and assign it to the tea glass. In the real world, glass is usually transparent and somewhat glossy. By default, it does not have diffuse color. To achieve that here, let's set the diffuse color to black, as this will eliminate color from the material. Then, make the material reflective by setting the reflect color closer to white. To make the material refractive, set the refract color very close to white. Pure white makes the material fully refractive. Standard glass has index of refraction of 1.51714. The index of refraction stands for how the material refracts the transmitted light. Air has IOR of 1, which means it is no obstacle for light transmission. Let's set the IOR of this material to 1.517. No glass material is perfectly glossy, so let's reduce the reflect glossiness a bit. Glass is not perfectly refractive either, so we reduce refract glossiness to 0.99. Leave the Fresnel reflections and the Fox system unit scaling enabled as they are by default. Fresnel reflections ensure proper reflection of the object based on the view angle. If you disable them, the whole object will get uniform reflections all over, making it look fake. Fog system unit scaling option ensures proper calculation of the fog multiplier in the scene according to the system units. Often, glass can be tinted with color. Let's see how to achieve that. V-Ray material has an option called Fog Color. We can use it to introduce some tint to the glass. Change the Fog Color to blue. You can see now that the tint is very well pronounced. We can make the effect weaker by reducing the Fog Multiplier amount. By default, its value is set to 1. Since the blue color we use is very rich, let's set the multiplier to some small value, 0.05. Now the tint is less visible and it shows mainly in the thicker parts of the objects. I'll move it back to 0.5. Another common type of glass is frosted glass. That is a finely deformed surface of the glass that makes it look blurry. We can achieve this easily by manipulating only the refract glossiness parameter. Remove the fog color and set it to 0.8. Let's reduce the reflect glossiness to 0.8 to make the reflections blurrier. We see this subtle effect appearing. Feel free to further tweak the refraction glossiness to enhance the effect. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make glass with V-Ray for 3ds Max.